I mentioned earlier my son just graduated from college, so this is one proud mom. It is graduation uh, season, and it's a really good time to start looking into some banking options for your college graduates and your kids that are maybe going off to college. Uh, Charlie Smaltz is here from East Wisconsin Savings Bank where they do things a little bit differently than some of the other banking institutions out there. And he brought along one of his employees. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good morning, for being Amy. here, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. And tell us who you brought along today. I brought Jackie along because she's a deposit expert. Um, and it's good to hear things from experts instead of just me. So. <laughs> Jackie uh, works in one of our offices that uh, handles all of the deposit operations. So uh, it's very important for uh, young people when they're graduating. Your son graduated from college, but there's a lot of folks graduating from high school right. soon. Right. Soon. So when they're going off to school, whether they're going to Oshkosh or somewhere across the country, it's very helpful to have an account with a local bank that they know and that their parents know. and. Um, have that local connection and, and know who they're dealing with rather than opening an account at some random bank wherever they go to school. And maybe before they leave for school, exactly. uh, you know, they've got their money in a good place and more importantly, um, where mom and dad, if they need to get these kids funny, money, not that I'd ever know about that, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that it, it makes it all easy and, and seamless without a lot of fees. So let's talk a little bit about that, uh, Jackie, how you guys really are, you believe you're a cut above the other institutions out there. Sure, definitely. So we are more of a small hometown local bank, so um, we do have, you know, more hands-on people to kind of, I wouldn't say watch your account, but have you know, a quick response to you. And we don't have a lot of the fees, like we don't require you to use your debit card so many times or that we charge you if you go below minimum, which is awesome because I know when I was in college, funds are not, you know, right. all kinds of there. So it's nice to not be charged for things yeah. that you don't need to be charged for. And actually that's happened in our house where my son, you know, I mean, the, it, let's face it, you know, these kids are, are on a really strict budget. and. Mm -hmm. Um, he actually was not happy with his financial institution because he was being charged every month. He can, couldn't keep all that money in there, you know, and right. he'd fall below and then get charged for it. So you guys are really conscientious of that and mm -hmm. you make, make it easy. Let's talk about some of the other things that you do. Um, easy to transfer uh, and you can expand on this um, ATM fees or lack thereof. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In our digital world, we do have our app that makes it really easy to transfer money or check your balances, as well as we are part of the All Point Network with our ATM debit cards. So we're not going to charge you a fee unless the ATM would charge you a fee, but we're not going to charge you that extra fee for using your debit card and getting your money out when you need it. And boy, that adds, adds up. Um, mm -hmm. Now, for um, parents, you, you can also, um, you have some advice for parents who uh, maybe, you know, wanting to look at that account, maybe make a deposit if needed. Sure. So as a student, you can actually put your parents on as what we call a power of attorney. So then they are able to have access to your account if they wanted to, you know, if you wanted to have them move some money while in person or check your balances or just they have access to look it on their website, their account website too just to see kind of where you're at and help you out. Maybe they can deposit some extra funds in there for some spending money. That, that would, they would like that. <laughs> and Charlie, let's talk about that. You guys, your, your whole, you know, uh, you can tell people better than me, but you're really about hometown, knowing these high school seniors, knowing the, the, the like my son's going off to Japan, mm -hmm. you know, sitting down with them and saying, well, this is going to be the best, best way, you know, for, for you know, if, if Amy, your mom needs to get your money, this is going to be the best way to do it. You, you know, sitting down with families as, especially, you know, sending these high schoolers off to college, it's a big transition. Oh, it's a big transition, and it's and it's scary for a lot of people. So if you can take this piece of the uncertainty out, and be comfortable with where your funding is coming from, and as you mentioned with your son, uh, my daughter spent time overseas as well, and a lot of our services work there as well. They can access things and um, have. Um, the ability to transact when they're there, so that's important as well. It's really important to take the time um, this summer before those kids go off to school, or just even if you're not happy, thrilled with your banking situation, mm -hmm. and you're ready to make a chain, come and talk to them. Uh, you're not going to get a number. You're not going to be on hold for hours mm -hmm. and be transferred and transferred. You're actually going to talk to Jackie yeah. <laughs> and maybe even Charlie. We're very upbeat, and bubbly. It's like like I, yeah. you know, it's like friends and cheers. You come in, and we're all excited to see you. So. 
Come on and buy us. That, that makes a difference. At least yeah. it's worth um, coming in and to talk about things. A anything from you know refinancing a home to you know opening savings accounts. Some of these college grads are, are getting a little bit of money for gifts. Okay. You can help them deal with that as well. Uh -huh. Maybe another important thing, and I don't want to take up all your time, but um, what we've found is it's very important for uh, students and anybody traveling or going out of the area to have multiple options, and we can help you with that. So many times we get calls from people in a panic. Yep. My debit card physically stopped working, sure. how, do I, how do I get money? So we can talk to you about having different options. Yeah, and that's a really good point. That's happened to all of us too, and that is a scary situation to be in. Mm -hmm. uh, East Wisconsin Savings Bank, uh, you can go to our website for more or go online. Guys, thanks so much for your help. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.